Hey guys, Rachel Rose here, and welcome back to Pokemon Violet. Now, in the last episode, we, um... What did we do? Oh, that's right, uh, we took on, uh, Rhyme. Uh, Rhyme and got her badge. And I believe in this episode, we're going to be doing, uh... What's it called? We're going to do uh, the Psychic Gym and the Snow Gym, which is um, Afronada and a uh, Glacy Gym. And who better, not, who better of using would be Dark Shadow. Dark Shadow... Uh, and we go and uh Sophie. Uh, so I haven't been doing this much lately. It, it was because I was trying to give Pokemon a bit of a break. So I just thought I'll just return by doing Pokemon Violet. And what's better doing is doing the gyms. Um but also thank you so much for your love and support for my channel. It really means a lot to me. I may, I may have lost some subscribers along the way, but you know what? I don't really mind. Just as long as people are happy. Oh, Nimona! Hey, I heard the good news. Congrats on gym badge number six. Not even a table of the traders who take on the gym get this far, you know? I'm not surprised you made it. I just knew there was a reason you caught my eye. Thanks. Oh, please. I should be one thanking you. Anyway, I bet you could use a little warming up before you take on the gym, huh? Come on, you know the drill by now. Okay. The, uh, the hairstyle that I got for my character is very, very, uh, popular for, like, younger, uh, for younger players. Ta-ta-ta-chan! Here's a battle court for today. Okay, right. Mm -hmm. Always important to check what environment your Pokemon will be battling in. The battlefield can have these tiny effects on your Pokemon's balance and stuff, you know. Anyway, sorry, I sort of dragged you out here. But a little pre-gem warming out should do you good. Now come on, Reiji, let's have us a fruitful battle. Okay. I'm ready. My girl Nimona do be looking fine though. Like him rock. Oh. Show me this battle skills that you got six badges. Okay. Oh my god, I may be overpowered. Shadow Ball. Oh wow. Sad attack. Oh, jeez. Uh, Shadow Ball again. <laughs> oh, wait. It's just sad attack. Uh, let's try a Shadow Claw. There we go. I may have lost. Uh, that's the frog battles. You never know what's gonna happen next. I get ya. Ooh, Sligu. You know what? Let's give Aquamarine a bit of a screen time. The battle feels beautiful. Alright, uh, play rough. Well done. That stung, but you're not the only one who can hit hard when it counts. Have you already got four Pokemon, Nimona? Palmot. Eh. Uh, that's a fighting electric. Uh Oh, 
Um, I don't have anyone to use a uh, like a uh, psychic, but I think a bit of play rough might actually be benefits. Hang in there. That was really good. What well does Sophie? Quaquivo. Starter versus starter. Alright, Sophie, let's do it. Trading attacks on the brink of winning or losing gives me chills. Let's see who can get the win. Here we go, there's Quaquivo. Terrestrialized flower trick. Oh wow, you are a beaut. Alright, what else do you have, Nimona? Here comes the fun part, time to make this tarot orb shine. Okay, bring it. Oh, it's water, right? There's something I don't understand about uh, a tight weaknesses, right? You know how grass is super effective against water? Is it maybe because it's been sprayed? It's been sprayed by water to make them grow. Hmm. Well done. <laughs> I knew I was uh, right to believe in you. Thanks, Nomona. I believe in myself also. That's an L for me. Man, you've gotten so good. I think that should be enough of a warm up. You and your Pokemon should be all set now. Here, take these as thanks for the battle. Thank you. There's just two gems remaining. That's all that will be left is a tryout for a champion. Give it all you've got. Now let's get you back to the gem lobby. Okay. Um, I'm thinking about doing this, right? So... Okay. Uh, I'm thinking about doing the, the gem the team star and uh the uh path of legends all in one setting so that way you don't have to keep watching the uh the episodes back and forth so you can just watch it all in one uh welcome to the alpha now the gym okay a uh, gym leader tool out you'll first see the passage gem test here at the Afro Nada Gym, that means working up a sweat with a special kind of exercise. I'm talking about the emotional spectrum uh, practice created by Tulip herself, of course. Complete it and you pass the test. The women wearing the black tracksuit in the practice area will explain the rules to you. Okay. Alright, no problem. Oh boy. Right next door, I. Oh, it's Dendra. Step right out for some exercise. Hello. Also, welcome, new kid. This is where we do emotional spectrum practice. Uh, ESP. Why is your battle studies teacher here at a Pokemon gym uh, working as an instructor, you ask? Well, I've been friends with the gym leader here, Tulip, since we were kids. We decided to have a Pokemon battle with a special rule. The loser has to do what the winner says. So we battled and well... <laughs> Look, never mind what happened. Point is, this is a chance to both get a workout in and help my friend when I don't have classes. The rules of emo emotional spectrum pract uh, practice or yeah, ESP for short are simple. I'll show you a certain move and all you have to do is copy it. Ready to get this gym t uh, test started? I hope your body and mind are ready for the challenge. 
Great. Now let's get to exercising. Show me an eruption of emotions. Oh, pardon me. Alright, so gem test. Take on the ESP or Emotional Spectrum Practice. Everybody. Ready when you ever be. Two. One. Start. Alright, so. <laughs> There we go. Oh, uh, the wow. Ah. 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 <laughs> oh. I misclicked. Okay. Happy. Happy. <laughs> I like how my, uh, my Sarah Light is like laughing. Mm. So cute. Oh, the wow. And I need the head to toe surprise. Look surprised, give it all you've got. This is so dumb. <laughs> Uh, Angie. The Angie test. Are you okay, Sarah Lynch? Uh, happy! Happy! <laughs> okay, how did I do it? I might have missed a few. That was awesome! I can't stop grinning after witnessing its perfect, perfect expression. That's enough of a warm up. Now let's really put these muscles to work with a Pokemon battle. Alright. Emily. Emily. <laughs> Gofita. No, Gofarita. What level are you? 43. Shadow is such a good name for um, my Sarah Lage. Curlia. Oh no. No, actually, no, oh no, because I've got like a dark type for um, a, a IDD. You can never defeat us. Oh, don't cry. I move by how you move you and your Pokemon. Okay. Great. I can hear your Pokemon and your muscles screaming with delight. I see you're getting tired, but you're gonna hang in there. Time to start the second half. Oh boy. Okay, here goes. Uh, not that excited. <laughs> Okay. Come on. Angie. <laughs> I'm Angie. I'm Angie. Oh, shocked. <laughs> this is so dumb. Uh, happy. Like, just a grin. Uh, overflow of excitement. Happy. This is so dumb. <laughs> uh, there we are. Uh, happy. Come on! Happy! Happy! <laughs> oh. 
Oh my god. What am I doing with my life? Uh, this one. Are you okay there, Sarah Leitch? <laughs> oh, gasp. I need a head to toe surprise. Come on. Oh. <laughs> that was perfect. I almost lost track of who was teaching who. Don't give up yet. It's time for another battle. Hold out against all the lactic acid. Acid, whatever. Oh, wait. Is he going to be using the IDD first? Grunt Pink. Right, let's see. Shadow Ball. Not bad. Okay, good. Uh, IDD. Uh, let's go, Sophie. But I know IDD is psychic. Uh, psychic normal like giraffe rigs typing that's a cute one uh dark pulse good job <laughs> uh medicam uh I'll have everybody to take a, a work at psychic fighting. Okay. Rafa Ra Raphael? Not Raphael. Doesn't matter. Good job, amigo. Everybody needs an amigo in their life. Or, no, Flamigo. Good job! You made it all the way through the ESP exercise. You passed this test, no doubt about it. Congratulations, but you're not done yet. Spread over to the lobby staff or on the double. You'll have to report your passing grade to formally finish the gem test. Yes, okay. Take on the ESP. Okay. Uh, okay. Your Pokedex has been added. Oh no, upgraded. My apologies. Oh, okay. Yep. Yes. The Bewitching Beautician. I think I'm going to call this the ES... Uh, the... The ESP exercise. Oh! I suppose you're right. Okay, I'll get things moving here on my end. Let's keep the tagline simple. Naturally beautiful. Um, and the uh, order the new eyeshadow colour too, would you? Thanks, you're a doll. Gotta run now. Chat with you later. Hi! Hold on. Beautiful. Hello there. I'm Tulip, the gem leader here. Though I must tell you that being a makeup artist is my main line of work. Dendra has nothing but praise for you. She said you're totally slayed out there. <laughs> I must say you're a cute chanter, Rachie. Oh, uh, I'm sure my ESP exercise made you all the more beautiful. Doesn't that make you happy? You keep your Pokemon beautiful and clean as well. I see you have quite the aesthetic sense. Appearance is equally important for both people and Pokemon. Makeup is like magic. Anyone can use it to change your appearance. Allow me to put my skills to use to make your cute little Pokemon even more beautiful. 
Okay, no, no doubt about it. Tulip. Frigoroth. You're quite a good base to test my makeup, Magica. What should I use on you? Uh, better bleed. <clears throat> good job. Is it Frigoroth? I don't really know. It's Pafra. Just, just psychic. Okay, uh, Shadow Ball. Well done. A uh, guard war. Shadow Ball. Well done. Hmm. Florges. You're just as hard to get rid of as caked on mascara. I see I need a good makeup remover. Sorry about that. Uh Oh no, I'm steel type. I tear type. Okay. Actually, I need to get more, uh, more terror types. Come here, my little flower, Jess. It's time for a makeover. You'll become a new you. Oh, God. I can take her down. Good thing I could just use Serilage. Oh my god! My bewitching beauty methods will clench you right down to the depths of your pores. Psychic! Jeez! Alright. Do 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 do. Well done. Oh my god, her floor just must be very tight. <laughs> do, 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 do. Your strength has a magic to it that cannot be washed away. Ah. Her clothes are really nice. I lost the battle and your beauty rivals even my own? I can't believe it. You're quite splendid, yes. Truly amazing. Perhaps I should take you under my wing before you make your big uh, break elsewhere. But I suppose I need to work on myself a little more first before I run off and do such a thing. You have earned my gym badge. Allow me to strike one of my best poses to give it to you. Congratulations, Rachie. With seven gem badges, Pokemon up to level 55 will be easier to catch and listen to the commands you give them. <gasps> oh, are you going to give me Psychic? If you train hard, you'll be able to use this move in a totally perfect way. You're Psychic. Don't go uplo uploading that selfie we just took to social media, okay? I think my makeup has run a little with all the moving and sweating I did during a battle. I need to fix it fast before my next appointment. My schedule is absolutely packed, you know. Very well then. You did splendidly today. Thank you. Wow. She is fine.
Oh, hi. Hi, Rika. Hey, hey. Rika here at your service. These gems are really aren't giving you much trouble, are they? Rika! Rika! Huh? All right. You don't have a met, have you? This young lady is Richie. She's so good with Pokemon, even La Primera is taking an inter interest in her. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. But, but, I think the Pokemon on Team Poppy are really strong, too. Like, really strong. Which one of you is stronger, do you think? Well, um... I am one of the Elite Four, so I'm more amazing. <laughs> oh, no, you're just adorable. I know it's hard to believe, but this little one is indeed one of the Elite Four. Yeah, I am. I hope I get to show you my Pokemon soon, miss. So hurry up and come to the Pokemon League. It's where the, um, pinnacle. It's where the pinnacle of Pokemon battling happens. See you there. Hey, wait up. Well, you keep up the good work. You heard the case. She's waiting for you. Wait up, Poppy. Don't leave your pal Rika behind. That voice will always be with her because it's really cute. I think she's maybe about four. Who knows? Alright. And then we're going to take on the final... Uh, where is Cosido? I went past the eye. Uh, Glacido. It's up in the snowy area. Um, it's there. Glacido gym. And then I think we'll work on the two, uh, uh, Team Star. And then we'll just do, uh, wait a minute, I need heal. And then we'll do the, uh, the final path of legend. We're actually getting very close to the end. So I think we might be able to complete, uh, a uh, Breath of the Wild, uh, first. Before, um, uh, what's it called? Before... Uh, Violet. Oh, hi, Nimona. Richie. It's finally time for your last gym, right? I heard from Rika. But I'm 0% worried about you. I know you got this. Even La Primera seems like she wants to keep an eye on you. Maybe I'll go find her so we can cheer you on together when you battle the gym leader. So go have a battle that's fruitful for you and for the crowd. Alright, I'm not going to make that same mistake. Yeah, I'm... I'm a challenger. Eh... Uh, Glacido, snow, slope, run. Okay, get out there and have fun. Okay. Because last time when I streamed this, I didn't know it was up there. Ice heel. Ice heel. Is it trying to tell me something? Just up here. Snowscape. Try this snow, uh, snow slope run. Uh, your task is to ride a Pokemon all the way down this course. It's like a slippery sliding nature trail. Reach the finish line within the target time and you'll have passed the test. Yeah. Let's get this started. I don't really care much about the staffer's dialogue much anymore. You just see the same thing over and over and over again, you know. Wait a minute. What is wrong with my... What's wrong with my Maridon? Why is that a different colour? Huh? Wait, why is that a different colour? Um... Can you explain? It, it, it looks more like a... F looks like a... F more futuristic now. 
Um. That's not even fun. <laughs> You passed. Everything needs charge today. Yeah, do you see it? My ride, my my ride on is like a different color. Congratulations on completing the run. That was some of the best sledding I ever seen. Almost like seeing Grush in his prime again. All right. Wait, was was that just a bug? Wait till you see it in the final vote, uh, final video, and you'll understand why I'm shocked. Okay, uh, I want a battle Grusha. Yeah. Allow me to show you to the battle court, kid. Wow. Uh. Oh, it's Grisha. Hey, guy. There you are. Rrr, I'm freezing. I take it you're a changer. My name's Grisha. I'm a snowboarder. Used to be pro, actually. <gasps> now I'm a gym leader. I show you on the slopes. Your skills? Yeah, they were pretty cool. But don't let it go over your head. Winter mountains are dangerous. They can throw your life right off course. Easy as that. Save Vigo Pokemon battles, really. It's always the most dangerous when you're just starting to get the hang of things. Today is not a great day to face me, you know. You're better off giving up. You sure you want to battle me? You bet. Still acting, uh, still trying to act cool, huh? That's too bad. Well, this is my job now, so don't take what I'm about to do personally. I... Okay. Get ready to feel the icy bite of reality. Frost Moth. Ice Bug. Okay, let's see what you can do here. Don't say I didn't warn you. Not my fault if you get overwhelmed. You know what? I'm not going to get overwhelmed. Because my Pokemon are up to stuff. Well done. I think Better Blade is a Sir Ledge's special move. Or signature move. Fear Tick. Hmm. Better bleed. Well done. So he uses beer tech. Frost Moth Satitan. Okay. That is a long cry. Well done. Taking them out like there's no tomorrow. And Otaria. You're not just Tog, I see, but you're still one false step from a steep fall. Okay. It's ice. So I'm going to terrestrialize and use Terror Blast. Because it'll change it to the steel type. I just want to see what this little beauty can do. Alright. What do you have, Grusha? Battles are like mountains of winter. The situation could change in a heartbeat. Alright. I love the gel leaders in this game. They're so freaking cool. Alright. Time to do some terrestrializing, my friend. 
Terroplast! Well done! There we go. I think steel is really good. Now that I think about it, it's really good. You're melted straight from my ice. Oh, Grisha. Are you, are you happy that I bet you? That burning passion you have. You strive for the future no matter what challenges you face. Just like how I used to be. Oh, never mind. I should give you your gym badge. Any Pokemon up to any level will chat. Uh, will listen to me. Huh? You want a photo together to commemorate your win? C come on. That's, that's so uncool. I don't usually do that sort of thing, but... Okay, fine. Special occasion. Oh, Grisha. With eight gym badges, you should be able to catch Pokemon of any level. They'll also listen to every word you say, whether it's cool or not. Oh, and before I forget, you should take this too. It's ice spinner. Should be a lot more useful than some silly photo of you and me. Feel free to stop by again if you don't mind the cold that is. Sure! Uh, Satoto. Oh, it's the Pokemon League, so we'll probably do the finale for, uh, for Violet. Richie, Serilage, you did it! Ah, I'm so happy for you. This is the best. I know I said I wasn't worried, but my heart was still pounding the whole time. Most impressive, Richie. A shiny display of talent, I must admit. Seriously, pat yourself on the back. You'll be every single gym leader. Which means... Indeed. Now that you've gathered 8 gym badges, all that's left is to take on the Pokemon League. If you hope to stand alongside Nimona as a fellow champion, head to the Pokemon League. That is where you can take on the champion assessment. Yeah! Hurry up and get to my rank. I'm itching for a battle of equals. I gotta take the time while you're facing the Pokemon League to fine tune my Pokemon's moves and re up all my tactics. Well, good luck, Beachy, and wish me luck too. Good luck, Nimona. It's unusual for me to see her so excited, though perhaps not for you. She must really be happy that she finally has a friend who can keep pace with her own talents. There's a special kind of strength that can only be reached by competing with a good rival. Count me among these eager to see how far you two can go. In any case, I'll be waiting for you at the Pokemon League Northwest of Mezagoza. And with that, I'll probably uh, train offline just to get my Pokemon up to snuff. Um, I think this time we're going to be tackling the next two Team Star members, so... We'll probably do uh, Ortega first, wherever he may be. He's over here, so... Whew. We're actually going to get a lot done today, so... We may as well uh, kill two birds with one stone just by doing the best we can. But I think I want to use Serilage. Tankaton. And, uh, perhaps, uh, let's see. Amigo, probably. I'll probably just trade off, um, like, grind off, uh, chances or probably try to get myself a few candies. Besides, I think... Oh. It's Clive. Or Dr. Clavel. Rachie. Operation Starfall is going well, wouldn't you say? Only two bosses left now. This whole experience has been eye-opening to say the least. I'm glad I could take part. But I'm curious, Rachie. What do you think of Cassiopeia? I really don't know. Is that so? 
personally, I don't think Cassiopeia feels any hate or re uh, resentment towards Team Star. No, there must be some other reasons behind Operation Starfall, but what could it be? Well, I'll best to get back to keeping watch. Call for me if you decide to take on the base, okay? Alright. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to lead off with Amy so that way I can... I will return later when it's time for the young master's piano lesson. I tell them, please give him my regards. Y yes, Mr. Hangerton. Hmm? And who might you be, young lady? A friend of the young master, perhaps? Uh, I'm not sure. Ah, I see. Since you seem unaware, I must inform you that this is the base of Team Star's favorite crew, the Rock Bar Squad, led by young master Ortega. Um, uh, Mr. Hagneton, I don't think we're supposed to be giving out that information. No? Then please accept my apologies. Do you have any idea to who this young lady might be? She's no friend of ours, you know. I think she might be here to try and take us on. Understood. In that case, I take it that you're an adversary of the young master? I guess I'm false. Is that so? Well then, that leaves me with one last thing to ask you. Huh? Would you be so kind as to indulge me in a battle? Okay. Splendid, then let us begin. <sighs> Pokemon Trainer Hagneton. Since Amy barely got any screen time, I'll give her some screen time. By using Gigaton Hammer. Nasty plot. These Pokemon are so human eye, uh, humanoid. Yeah, I'm talking about more grim. Wow. That uh, Hatrim. This is so laggy. The uh, HP went down along with the music. Oh wait, I can't use it twice in a row. Uh, I'm steel type. Okay, uh, terror type then. I was so sure I was a fairy type. But you know what, it looks really good. I'll probably need to gather more fairy, uh, fairy shards. That was nice. She's like, she played like basketball. No, uh, baseball. Well, well. Well, well indeed. Do, 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 do. An outstanding performance. However, be aware that young master Ortega's battle prowess far surpasses my poultry skills. You would do well to take them. Uh, take care. Daphne, excuse me. Ha hasta la vista. That gentlemanly guy used to be the director of the academy, I think. At least that's what I've heard. Now he's like tutoring the boss or something. He shows up here sometimes to take the boss to his lessons. Hang on, why am I explaining this to you? There's no doubting you're here to make trouble, so I've got to let everyone know. Hasta la vista. That's such a dumb, eh, dumb scene. Hey Cassie. I see the guard has been dealt with. Good job. Yes. The base belongs to the Team Star's favorite crew, the Rock Bar Squad. Their boss, Ortega, is the mechanic of the team. He may be the youngest of the bosses, but his battle skills are no joke. Underestimate him and things will go south for you quickly. He's also a real lead, uh, lead from the back type. He gets his grunt to do all the dirty work for him. But his weak, he, his weak point is his short fuse. Get him good and angry and he'll match out the front lines to deal with you himself. In terms of tactics, there's nothing else for it but to take down all the lackeys he sends your way. Just tough it out until Ortega shows up and go from there. 
Okay. Time to wipe the rock bass squad off the map. Yes. So I'm leading with Amigo, Amy Rose, and Sarah Ledge. Cold Red, Cold Red, Operation Starfall Alert. Everyone get to position and defend the boss with all you got. And rest assured, Intruder, we'll deal with you without the boss's help. Unless you manage to be fair to your Pokemon in 10 minutes, that is. Good luck with that. Defeat, defeat, uh, defeat 30 of Team Star's Pokemon. Okay. Right, let's do it. Alright, come on. Good. Let's go. Come on. Hurry up, guys. Uh, there's probably up here. Um, yeah, there we are. Come on. We're too strong. Maybe cues. Right. Come on. Okay, good. There's all the jelly puffs. Right, this one. This one. Good. Uh, there's some Fidos and a uh, Dash Bun. Good job. Good job. Uh, ten more. There's Floor Jess. Good. All right, where's the other ones? There's the Carlias. <gasps> Guard the war. Right, take this one down. Right, come on, over here. Come on, guys. Good. Three more. Uh, there. Come on! There we go. <sighs> well done, guys. I'm very proud of you. Our defenses are breached. It's all up to the boss now. Something about this car is really unreasonable. Wait! There were two rooms there. Boss of Team Star's favorite crew, Ortega. Huh, so you're raging. Okay. Talk about underwhelming. I was expecting someone, I don't know, a little more beefed up. Well, whatever. I don't care who you are. Not like I'm going to lose to you anyway. If you, think he, uh, if you think fairy types are all about cuteness, you're in for a nasty surprise. But fairy types are cute. But when you say it like that. Okay. Oh, this is laggy as anything. I promise I'll play nice, so don't blame me when this battle said you're blubbling back home. Mold Breaker. Uh, Gigaton Haver. Good job. You know what? I'm just going to uh, tear type right from the get go. Says I think the tear type is really cool. Oh, I can't terrestrialize anymore. All right, steel beam. Good job. Oh my god, I didn't know that hurt you. Oh, dash button. Oh, shoot. All right. 
right, uh, Gigaton Hammer. Okay. Is it going to be a uh, Raver uh, Raver Room? Yep. What the heck? Why is my team on the ropes? That's totally not fair. Misty Surge. Um, I'm going to have to heal this turn. And then just use Steel Beam, even though it will hurt her. Steel Roller? Wait, am I able to... Oopsie, did you just realize how outmatched you are? If you want to give up, now's the time! Oh. Okay, um... Play rough. I just need to lower it, uh, it's, uh... Mm. Gigaton Hammer. Come on, head for the uh, confusion, Amy. Thank you. Gigaton Hammer. Oh. Spin out. Okay. Oof. Uh, finish it off with a uh, play rough. Come on. Good job. Great job. Oh. That is so laggy. <laughs> Oh, how can I lose? What the heck? About a year and a half ago. Ah, what the heck? Your toy car didn't budge an inch, huh? I told you, it's not a toy. It's called the Starmobile, and I was up all night building it. The problem's clearly that we're not giving it enough juice. You designed this thing to be powered by two charcoal dead, but it's just too heavy. That's such a shame. I wanted to see the looks on our bullies' faces when we get it moving. I'm sorry, I really thought it would work. Come on, good fellow. Taste no occasion for melancholy. Why to make such a remarkable contraption by fine own hands? Genius, thy name is Ortega. Yeah, well, there's no point if it doesn't work, is there? If I knew all the effort would I uh, zero payout, I'll just have to ask Mother to buy a car for us. See, this is why people don't take you seriously. You say some stupid things, you know that. What? Mella, cool it down, would ya? Yeah, how about no? I mean, we even put this on Nicole for crying out loud. When we started Team Start, we swore to quit relying on our parents or bags of cash to fix our problems for us. Or did you forget? If that hunk of junk doesn't move, get it moving. If we're short on juice, just keep crank up the power somehow. Doesn't take a genius, man. That's enough talk to say, Millie. Do you have an actual plan? Yep, I'm going to train up my Char Cadet and have him evolve. Their boosted power, power will get the Starmobile moving in no time. Or no sweat. But the hour of operation is now at hand. Will you succeed in time? Oh, I'll get it done. Millie, wait! You know, Mella shouts her mouth off as awful lot, but she means well. I know. God, it sucks. This sucks. I hate myself for losing, but I also can't get over how awesome you were in that battle. If any of us squad bosses are defeated, that means we have to step down and I'm going against our code would make me a traitor to the team. God, fine. Not like I have a choice anyway. So take the badge already. You better treat it with the respect it deserves. He's kind of cute, not gonna lie. I'm not done yet. Here's my favorite TM too. Feel free to marvel at how awesome it is. Dazzling Gleam. And just so you know, you are the worst. Like the most annoying person ever. But I get it, you're super strong. I'll admit that much. You even busted up my Starmobile. Young Master Ortega. Mr. Hagneton. 
I guess it's time for my piano lesson, huh? As it happens, I lost my boss tile, so I'm all good to head on home. Ah, uh, actually, a different matter brought me. There's somebody I would like you to meet. He's a distant acquaintance of mine. The name's Clive. Okay, what's your business here? I want you to tell me something. You're the son of a wealthy family and heir to a major apparel company, so why join a group like Team Star? What a question to ask someone you just met. Well, my answer's the same as everyone else in the team. It's because I was being bullied. So the Academy really did used to have an issue with bullying. Who would guess right? The school is all rainbows and butterflies these days. And the bullies from back then don't even go to the Academy anymore. Why? What happened to them? As the former director of the Academy, I believe I am best positioned to answer that question. Mr. Hangerton. About 18 years ago, or 18 months ago, the members of Teen Star confronted the students who used to bully them and an altercation broke out between the groups. Though it did not escalate into a major incident, the uh, altercation nonetheless caused a scandal of Heathrow unknown proper, uh, proportions. Uh, proper, whatever it's called. As a result of what occurred that day, the student who had uh, perpetrated the bullying dropped out of the academy one after another. But there aren't any records of you anywhere in the academy. No, I should imagine not. My former deputy deleted all records of the incident, you see. What? Why would anyone do that? Just as I was puzzling over how best to deal with Team Star in the aftermath of an incident, a certain student came to see me. The student declared that they would take all responsibility for the team's action. In exchange, they requested that I exonerate the other students of Team Star from any blame. Huh? No! No one told me that! I accepted the request and agreed not to take a disciplinary action against Team Star. Then I assigned 18 months of overseas study to the student who took responsibility for the team. A year and a half of studying abroad? This was not intended as a punishment. You understand, Team Star were the victims after all. I wanted the student to take some time to rest, so I had them return to the Galar region under the pretext of overseas study. Are they talking about beads? Around that time, however, the former deputy director took upon himself to erase all traces of the incident from the academy servers. It appears his intent was to shield himself from any blame. So he tried to cover up the whole thing. That's terrible. After we discovered what he has done, I dealt with him appropriately, of course. But the inability of myself and the rest of the teacher's staff to prevent this terrible act also represented a grave blunder on our part. I accepted the blame that lay at my feet and resigned from my position as director. The rest of the teacher's staff just joined me in heading in their notices. So that's why the current teachers were all brought in a year and a half ago. I understand my actions has caused you a great deal of trouble. You have my sincere apologies. Hang on, Mr. Harring uh, Harrington. How come you suddenly decide to talk about this now, young Master Ortega? Team Star cannot carry you on its current fashion. I merely wish to give you a chance to chart a better course. Well, there's no way I'm abandoning my friends and going to school without them, not after we come this far. Eh, uh, your friends and Team Star must mean a great deal to you. Isn't that obvious? It's cause, you know, they're my greatest treasure in the whole world. Aww. I know I said I'm going to be doing the other team start. I just, my throat is started to really hurt after voice acting for so long. So I think a couple of more videos of this would be in order. So I think I'm just going to focus on doing a uh, team star and uh, the, uh, the Titan and probably do the victory roads. All in free, and then I'll do the uh, Area Zero and uh, Operation Starfall uh, in the next episode. Richie, it's me. I take it Ortega handed over a star badge to you then? Yeah. I see. With his boss no longer around, the Rock Bus Squad is as good as finished. Even Ortega? I'm sorry. 
We're almost there now, just one bus left. The operation's been a huge success thanks to you, Rachie. And Clive also performed uh, admirably as your support. I remember him saying that your acquaintances, have you known each other long? Yeah, for a while now. <clears throat> well, he's clearly a reliable friend. He almost reminds me of the gang back in the day. Which gang? As you know, Team Star was formed by a group of students who were bullied at school. Shortly after forming the team, these students, none other than their squad bosses themselves, confronted their bullies head on. The outcome was a re-insounding victory for Team Star, <clears throat> though you could hardly call it as a contest. The bullies didn't even put up a fight. They all bought you from battle uh, the first chance they got. Scared spitless of Team Star, the bullies then dropped out of school one after another. And Team Star ended up the villains of the story. But that's neither here nor there. Forget I mentioned it. Now about your reward, I'll transfer some LP over to your phone as promised. Wow. Make good use of these TMs. They should help you take down the last remaining boss. My supply unit rep will be along soon to give you your bonus reward. <clears throat> Hi, Penny. Ah, uh, here I am. I guess. Gua! Stay in your pocketball for once, will you? Aww. Yeah! Aww. He's licking her. Wow, Team Star went through all that, huh? They just wanted the belly, uh, bully. Oh, I was gonna say belly, sorry. Uh, they just wanted the bullies to go away, but then they became the bad guys in everyone's eyes. What a joke. The students, the teachers, they're all so messed up. If even just one of them had been paying attention when everyone was getting bullied, they have been able to tell right away that Team Star was the one in the wrong. But I guess the big boss was the one who urged everybody to face our bullies despite knowing how messed up the academy is. What a massive idiot created Team Star and just hoping their plan would miraculously work out. I don't know about that. I'm sure of it. Well, here's your reward. The next boss is the very last one. We're counting on you, Rachie. Right. This is where I'm going to end the episode off, guys. Thank you so much for watching and next time on Pokemon Violet we're going to be finishing off the the remaining of Team Star and uh, start the Pokemon League. Um, but I think uh, I'm going to continue doing this until I complete both Breath of the Wild and this game. So I'd like to say thank you so much for being very great and being very patient with me and as always this is Rachel Rose signing off and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye!